Welcome back to the show. Well, from food to the arts, and so many artisans are so happy to again get back and start enjoying those shows, bringing community together and showcasing some of the beautiful work they've been working on for, let's be honest, for the last two and a half years and perhaps even longer. Here to tell us more about an upcoming art show in Carlton Place, I'm joined by Suzanne Deschaines, president of the Arts Carlton Place. Welcome, Suzanne. Great to have you here. Thank you for having me. Let's talk a little bit about Arts Carlton Place. Give us a, an idea of where this inspiration came from. Actually, it came from the town. In okay. 2004, the town decided that it wanted to do something for the arts. So by 2005, Arts Current Place was in, came to be, and it basically looks at uh, opportunities for various forms of art. Okay. Mainly now what it does is it looks at visual arts, so paintings, artisans, but unlike other associations or groups, this one is, is is not led by the artist. It's led, I see. I'm not an artist. Oh, really? I, oh, no I was going to ask you if you have, you do have some talent. Come on now, Suzanne. Here I'm, you are doing live television. I'm more at ease with a hammer and nails. <laughs> than you and produce, me both, yeah. Rather than producing any of these. But why did you specifically want to get involved then as, as somebody that, that's not an artist? Um, my partner is an artist. Okay. But, uh, and, and she would do different shows, and every time we went to different shows, I would come home and I, I'd say, well, you know, they could have done this differently for the artist, and they could have done this differently for the buyers. Because that's the big thing about Arts Car and Place. It's to empower the artists and the residents of Arts of Carlton Place through the arts. Right. So you're having basically two groups that you want to help. Yeah, yeah, and, and because I think people are, are searching for that, right? Like, I just think of my own home. When when you start putting your home together, and even as, as the years go by, you want to switch things up, you want to add art, and you want to support local, and this is a great way of doing all that in one place. So let's talk about um, the Itty Bitty Craft and Art Sale. It's coming up um, two weekends, right? The 12th and the 13th, and... Uh, no, sorry, just the 12th and the 13th, 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. But tell me about some of the items that you brought along here today because these are some great examples right yes now these are all original pieces okay they're all locally made and uh, some of them are from some for this one for example here, you I'm may hold that, that up yeah let me hold that up to camera look at this beautiful That's piece probably and I can't <clears throat> be sure of that but it may be made of even local wood really hey because people in common place will call John John Chamney, who makes this, and they will say to him, I have a tree that I have to take down, or a tree came down because of the storm or the ice storm or right. whatever, before I cut it up, do you want to see if there are any pieces you want? And it just, uh, again, shows you how the community comes together. And uh, you and I were talking before the show, Carlton Place, um, one of the fastest growing communities in the entire province, right? Absolutely. All right, let's look at some other pieces here. Here, I'm going to put this one up. This is a lovely piece. Tell me a little bit about this one. Well, it's obviously a keychain holder. Yeah. But the painting is made by Therese Boisclair, who's an internationally acclaimed artist. So she will go to show with her big pieces and her small pieces. and. But if a piece doesn't quite work out, she will use the smaller piece and make something creative for the art show. I love the it. A, show. Yeah, what a great idea. Let me move on to the next one. This is so cute. I love the colors in this and uh, the creativity on this one. Tell me about this. This is fused glass, and the trim is all wire art. Okay. Again, all produced locally by someone from Carton Place. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to put this down. Um, this one also caught my eye. Tell me about, and I love uh, about, you know, the wraparound that a lot of artists do on these canvases. It's so unique and so beautiful. Look at that. That's right. And the buyer is free then to frame it if it goes better with their decor or not. In this particular case, we have a member from Arts Car and Place who actually resides in Coburg, Ontario. Okay. But spends her summer in the Rideau Lakes area. Oh, nice. Liked, came to one of our shows, liked what she saw, and comes back. And I'm, she told me not too long ago, she only does two shows a year now, both of them in Carl Place. Very nice. I love it. And lastly, I'm just going to grab this one. Look at this one. This is also, and you know, to think that it's handmade. It's all absolutely handmade. Absolutely gorgeous. The uh, stone, or what I could call the stone here, mm -hmm. 
is actually fused by the artist. The chain is handmade by the artist. Again, it's, it's a ni nice, unique, local piece of artwork. And this show gives back to the community. That's something else that I, I know is important to, to what, you, what you're doing with this particular sale. Tell us about the bursaries that you, you raise funds for. We have two high schools in Carlton Place. One graduate from each of the high school will be who wants to pursue their education in the field of arts will be uh, proposed by the school to receive our bursary. We give a bursary to each one of the schools. And of course, because we've expanded the show and had more artists, more sales, we're hoping this year to double the, each of the bursaries to each one of these students. Fantastic. I, I love that idea. And um, another part of this show that I think is great, and, and you know, many of the shows that we see in and around Ottawa and outside the region is the volunteering. And I know that you wanted to give a shout out to the great volunteers that help you out with this show. This show does not take place if it's not for the 60 volunteers who participate. And of those volunteers, 15 of them are high school students. Yes, they will get their uh, community service hours for this. Of course. But more importantly, they come to us and they say, well, I'd like to work this shift or that shift. I'd like to do this job. Uh, for example, the, the student who will be, um, we have a donation box, of course, when of you course, come in. Of course, yeah. And she will attend the jar, as we say, and she will sit there while she's doing that and she will do some of her own art. Oh, very cool. What a great idea. I know I'm um, just down to 30 seconds. I know you have a new venue this year you're excited about. Where is it taking place this year? At the upper hall of the Carlton Place Arena on Kneeling uh, Street, I do believe. Excellent. Um, Suzanne, really appreciate your time today. Thanks so much for joining us here. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. Again, it's the Itty Bitty Craft and Art Sale. It's happening November 12th and 13th, 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And as Suzanne said, that it's the Upper Great Hall at the Carlton Place Arena. We'll be back with more right after this.